Thank you for that, Ryan. Meanwhile, Angela McCall keeping a close eye on District 3, where a new person will be filling his seat, of course, after Justin Amash announced that he wasn't running for re-election. Yeah, that's right, Derek. And we are at the launch party for Peter Meyer's campaign. And overall, they're very optimistic here. We've heard a few cheers, a few claps as these early returns have come in. But both Democrats and Republicans alike know that this is a tight race and very tough indeed. And it's considered right now a toss up in terms of what polls are saying as to who will actually be victorious in this one. But the Democrat Hillary Scolton, we spoke to her earlier and she says she knows she has convinced a number of traditionally Republican voters to cast their ballot for her. And not to mention, she also says that there are changing voter preferences and demographics in this third congressional district, which uh, has been Republican since 1976. On the other hand, Meyer has relied on his experience as a veteran to connect with voters and in some ways to also combat the privilege he's grown up with. And he's hoping to convince West Michiganders he's the right guy for the job. I mean, just, I think it, it encapsulates kind of what every election is, which is about, you know, where are we going in the future um, and, and just what type of leadership do we need? So I'm, I'm proud to have earned, hopefully, have earned their vote today um, and, and look forward to just, again, continue what we've done the entire time, which is talking to the voters of West Michigan and making sure we're representing what the voters of West Michigan. Need. We are on the brink of making history by electing the first woman ever to represent this district, the first Democrat in almost half a century. When I raised my hand to run for this seat 18 months ago, I saw a deep need in our community for a new kind of representative. Someone who understands how the policies we create in Washington, D.C. impact people on the ground every single day. I'm a middle class mom. Just like so many working families out there, And just to prove to you how tight this race is, Golton says that her campaign has raised $3.8 million and has also rounded up 800 volunteers over the last 18 months and made 700,000 calls. Democrats are pointing to that as good numbers for them, and they're hoping that that will translate into, uh, into votes, essentially. So we'll be here uh, throughout the evening, and we'll check back in with you. Derek Janis. All right.